so the legs are open. The hand comes underneath, right? Now, to be able to get the leg up to my shoulder with my elbow, okay? Thumb goes inside the collar. And when my thumb goes inside the collar, my hand's already out, right? I wanna make sure that I bring my elbow tight and I start to stack. My second hand will be here on his hip. Now what I'm gonna do is as I walk around, look what I do, I put my knee up behind his hip. This hand is gonna be hugging his hip so that his hip can't fall off because take your hip off my leg, Eric. I don't want that to happen. I get a pass, but I'm not gonna be able to do what I want. So once I'm here, I start to stack it. Put my leg behind his hip, behind his lower back, and I'm holding his hip here. Now watch. I'm gonna to start to walk my foot in. All right, so it's a little choke from here. Try to pull your hip off, try to shoot your hip off. See if you can get your leg up. So, we got a nice little choke from there, All right? You gotta make sure you guys control the hip because they're either gonna to try to roll over their shoulder or they're gonna to try to throw their hip off. So, normally what happens is, here, hand comes inside, get my grip, and I start to stack. He's either going to roll his shoulder or he's going to go here, right? Which gives me the pass, but I, I lose uh, excellent opportunity just to finish it from there, right? So once my hand comes inside, and I start to stack. See how I'm holding his hip already? I don't let him roll. And I just start to walk my foot in. Walk it in, walk it in. Keeps all the weight, all of his weight and all my weight on, right on his neck. Right, so he can't throw his hips off. Yeah, so one more time. The choking action is just the blade of your... Yeah, it's like a paper cutter. Paper cutter, Choke. okay. Right, so hand comes inside, up on my shoulder by lifting my elbow, right? I don't wanna try to uh, use my shoulder strength, so I'm just gonna go here. If I need to drop down a little bit, I can drop down. But the idea is I don't wanna use strength. I don't wanna use my arm against his leg. Right? Doesn't make sense. He's too much stronger. And if he uses his weight properly, there's no way I'm gonna try to. So, lift my elbow. Thumb inside, and immediately remember, I don't wanna keep this hand in here. So as soon as this arm comes out, this elbow's already coming in, okay? On my toe, so that all of his weight is stuck on his shoulders. Now look, see how I brought my knee inside? It's right behind his back. So this prevents his butt from being able to sit down. But he can still, bring it off to the side, right? So if he kicks his leg over here, he's gonna go, fall off my knee. So I'm gonna hold his hip. And I don't want him to roll either, because a lot of times guys will roll over their shoulder, right? So, gotta prevent, so I use my head on his leg. Roll over my shoulder. No way, right? <laughs> So you gotta kill his movement from a couple different angles. But the hand control on the hip, the knee behind the back, and using my head to keep his leg from kicking out. Yeah?